Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we continue installing or clean installing Windows 11, what are the questions that are coming next? So here everything will have to do with language and keyboard layout. Now you might think, didn't we do that before in the first window? Yeah, but that was for the purpose of mostly setting up the PC. It's important that right away your keyboard layout and everything looks okay and then it will actually drive the rest of the install into a direction. So next, once you've actually formatted, you've actually uh, partitioned the drive and you had the install screen, you'll have some restarts, you'll have some a little spinning um, circle, and eventually the first window that's gonna appear once all of that is done is this. What is your country? Or region so you'll choose a country you're in and you'll click yes the answers here are often going to be based on that first window that you actually answered when you started the install so uh, that's why also kind of important to uh, choose the correct answers from the beginning then you will be asked for a keyboard layout that's also very important because the layout is different from the same language from different language from different countries so you'll choose the keyboard layout that you want. I chose Canadian Multilingual Standard in my case. Then I click Yes. Next one, well, this is the uh, the uh, window that I'm showing my choice. Of course, if you're in the United States, you choose US. And depending on where you are in the world, you might choose a different layout. It's very important. Uh, Dan is going to ask you, do you want to have a second layout? And if you are multilingual, like I am a French and, you know, Canadian French and, of course, speak English, I often have multiple layouts. But uh, in my case in Canada, the Canadian multilingual standard kind of um, helps in the layout for everything. But if you do English and Spanish, for example, you might want to have a, a Spanish language keyboard or Russian, uh, you know, a Russian language keyboard. So all of that is here where you can actually add some layouts. And of course, if you don't hear, you can actually add them later on in your setup when Windows is installed, of course. And then, of course, we're going to go into connecting to a network. So this is where you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you have an Ethernet cable plugged in, this window will not appear. You will actually simply go and continue on because the connectivity is there. So choose a correct um, network and of course you'll click connect. It's gonna ask you for the password and that password is going to give you of course the access to the connection. And here it's gonna say, I think this is my connection that I chose. And of course you'll want to have that happening um, correctly so that it works. Enter the network key or your password for Wi-Fi. That will make sure that it's going to say connected, secured, and that means you're now connected. And you could click the next button. We're going to continue with the other options in the next video so that we don't make these videos too long, but you can follow along where we are. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.